Three people are in custody tonight in the execution-style murders of four people in southwest Philadelphia. We have new developments in the investigation, and Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance is at police headquarters with the information tonight. Shante? Yeah, Yuki, police called this crime egregious, and they vowed since the crime happened 10 days ago to bring the killers to justice. It has been a combination of some very old time, uh, you might say, gumshoe tactics and some technology. District Attorney Larry Krasner gathered with Philadelphia's top cops to announce the arrests of three suspects in the execution style shooting deaths of four people in a southwest Philadelphia basement. The first arrested was 32 year old Jalil Porter of Philly. The acts that they committed are beyond comprehension to me that you could do this to four uh, people, four human beings. The victims found shot in the head in the basement of a house on the 5100 block of Malcolm Street last week were half brothers, 31 year old William Taylor, 28 year old Akeen Maddox, and sisters, 20 year old Tiana Raquel Hopkins, and 17 year old Yalia Hall. It appears to be um, in minimum three people who were collateral damage in, in a very horrific. Uh, incident. Police say the murders were over a drug stash that Williams and Maddox found in a renovated home. Two of the male victims were doing house renovations. They discovered a drug stash. They tried to broker a sale of the drug stash. Um, our offenders came there with the intention of robbing them. Commissioner Ross says the drug stash the victims were killed over were small. I will tell you without going into any detail that if at some point we're able to disclose that, you, it, it's going to blow your mind how insignificant it was in the grand scheme of uh, dealing with life and just how little uh, these individuals had regard for anybody else's life. Questions answered for four families that may never heal. While you never have closure, those families will not have closure because of you know the manner in which their loved one died, but at least you know at this point we believe uh, we have the people responsible. And Jaleel Porter has been charged with robbery and also four counts of murder. The names of the other suspects have not yet been released. Reporting live outside of Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Shante, thank you. The